Let's try this out. Ooh. It's a big one, babe. It's a big one. You can see that I have excellent chopstick skills. Just showing it off for you guys. Good evening, everybody. Hello. We are going to celebrate Lunar New Year here in Las Vegas. Yes, and right here we're at the Bellagio. It is so red. That's mm -hmm. a good luck. And so I'm feeling lucky. You feeling lucky, baby? I always feel lucky, nice, especially eh? we're in Vegas. Yep. We're going to check out the conservatory, and we're going to have some good Asian Chinese food. Cuisine, yes. Yes. So, uh, yeah, let's jump in and see what all this is all about. This is the year of the dragon this year, and these are the lions from, like, the lion dances. And I know they're animated, but I don't know how often they play, but it, they're pretty cool. through the conservatory and it is just overwhelming a lot of red which is good luck uh, it's the year of the dragon again this year very soothing the music is just very soothing and it's a uh, beautiful all different flowers and everything so yeah it's a uh, hopefully everybody has a really good Chinese New Year which is really good luck and prosperity we are here in Orchid Garden yes this we decided to come here for our dinner because mm -hmm. we wanted, we felt like some really good Chinese food, especially off the strip. You're going to get all of your good Chinese food off the strip. Yeah, the, yeah. this is in Chinatown. Yes. And uh, I can't think of a better way to celebrate Chinese New Year than here. Yes, with some good, authentic Chinese food. Let's go. It is later in the evening, but we wanted a really good sit-down Chinese dinner. We did order some dim sum off or um, in front of us, but we did order off the menu as well. So I'm going to go ahead and try our greens. This is Chinese broccoli with oyster sauce. So here, let's get the Chinese broccoli. And here at Orchid Garden, they serve dim sum all day. That's good to know if you're in the mood. And they close at 9? They close at 9 o'clock. Yes. Okay, so let's go ahead and try this out. Delicious and tender. The oyster sauce, not made of oysters or anything. It's just called oyster sauce. A little bit on the salty side, which goes perfectly with the green vegetable. This is one of my favorite dim sums here. You can't find it at many places. It's the pan fried dumplings with pork and chives. It's got a nice little crust on there. I like to put a little bit of soy sauce on it. Just like that. Let's try this out. You like this one. Mm, look at that. Great pork, ground pork flavor in it. And you can see the amount of chives. It's almost like a 50-50 mix. So if you're a chive lover, it's something that you have to order. Look for it on the dim sum menu. And if you find it, you know, definitely try it out. And the pan fry just adds that extra crispiness to the, to the outside of the, of the dumpling. Yeah, this is excellent. We're starting off with some egg drop soup right here. Mmm, very simple. Delicious. You can really taste that egg in there. And you can really taste, like, the spices. But it's not a mm. spicy soup. It's though. not a spicy soup. No. It's a thicker soup. Well, probably hit it up with a little bit of soy. 
and um, pretty much eat this down. This is delicious. Eat this down. Eat this down. Thank you. For our Chinese meal, we got some fish fillet with black bean. Of course, you have to get some long noodles. We got it without any meat because we have the duck. That is a half roast duck. Looks delicious, meaty. I can't wait to dig on in. Now, we were tempted to get the whole uh, Peking, Peking duck, duck. Mm -hmm. but I think that's just a little too much food for us. Yeah. So the half is perfect. Yeah, this would be, this is just like an amazing Chinese meal. Let me go ahead, of course, I have to try my fish. It's my favorite. Here we go. Mm. A nice, good, hearty fish. Really good black bean flavor that went into that fish. This is a delicious fish. I recommend it with anybody. Black bean. It tastes a little bit on the salty, kind of like a salty seasoning side. It's really a good flavor that matches fish, it matches pork, anything like that. It's very good. You should try it. Here's noodles. These are the like these crunchy or the really thin noodles without any vegetable in this one. Or meat. Mm-hmm. Vegetable. It's got onion. It's got onions. I meant meat. I have vegetable on the brain, but I mean meat. It doesn't have any meat to it. A good stir fry flavor in this noodle. And then I have my duck. They give you a sauce for it, but I don't think it needs any sauce. Yeah, the sauce they give you is almost like a plum sauce. Mm-hmm. Crispy, crispy skin on that duck. It is not dry. It is juicy in here. And it doesn't need a sauce. Or sometimes maybe a little bit of that poison or a little bit of that oyster sauce that we had with the vegetable. It'll match perfectly. So here, perfect meal for this evening. Something that's not too, too heavy. Duck is probably the heaviest. The fish and the noodles, delicious. So after a really good meal, you always have to have something a little sweet. So I have my fortune cookie here. Let's open this up. See what my fortune is. Learn Chinese. Oh, yeah, this will flip it over. Oh, flip it over. Okay. <laughs> this is Learn Chinese Pumpkin. And then it tells me the word in Learn like... Learn Chinese Pumpkin? Yeah, that's what it says. Learn Chinese, the word pumpkin. Okay. Yeah. Nangue, I think. I'm not sure. Let's flip it over and see what my fortune is. You don't get in life what you want. You get in life what you are. Oh, that's pretty deep. That's pretty deep, huh, it baby? It is, wow. Yeah, that's a, that's a good fortune, I think, right? I don't know. Oh, well, I'll see, just go to the learn. Is. I'll just stick to yeah, the learning pumpkin. You better stick with the pumpkin. <laughs> yeah, I will. Yeah. Let me check out my fortune. Now, I've always been told that if you want your fortune to come true, you have to eat all of your cookie. Have you heard that before? No. No? Okay. Okay. Well, let me read the fortune first. <laughs> Your power is in your ability to decide. Look at that. Can you see that? Oh, you have a better fortune. Like that. Mine is just pumpkin. I, I better I better eat the cookie. What's your word? Mm. <laughs> Didn't even tell me your word. I decide. It's time to go. That was a great meal at Orchid Garden. Yeah, full. We're, we're full. We're mm -hmm. ready to go back to the hotel. Yeah. Which we're staying at the Orleans on this mm -hmm. trip. And um, we'll continue this uh, Chinese New Year party tomorrow morning. See you in the morning. Here we go. Big winner. Big winner. Come on, Grand. Come on. Grand. Oh. 45 bucks? Yeah. Yeah, good job, babe. Before we head off to our uh, Chinese New Year breakfast, mm -hmm. you want something? Yeah. Look at that. It's one of those ones that you do the firecrackers and they explode. Right. I got the double up one. And then you look at that.
Nice. Off of a dollar seventy-six. Thirty-eight bucks. Thirty-eight bucks. Big win. Yeah. Officially, good morning. Yeah, good uh, morning. You played a little machine earlier. I did. This morning. Yes. Um, we are here at Hong Kong Garden yeah. for a Chinese breakfast. Yes, and it is um, in Chinatown. Chinatown in Las Vegas is a, is several blocks. It's, it's pretty big mm -hmm. that you'll find, and you'll find so many different places here. Uh, I what I like about this Chinatown is places open early, and, and back in our area, places open like at eleven o'clock or something. Like that. Right, right. These open at 7 a.m., 8 a.m., anything like that. Yeah, uh, and this one happens to be 9 a.m. Yes. So uh, I think this is the way we're going to uh, cap off our Chinese New Year celebration yeah. mm -hmm. with some juk. Yes, that sounds good, baby. Yeah. Or rice porridge, same thing. Yes. What's pretty cool at Hong Kong Garden is they have dim sum all day. So you can see all of the pictures here, what they look like. We have maybe two or three items picked out. And of course, you know, we have to get the egg tart. But they also have all your different selection of juk, which is the rice porridges. A lot of good stuff. A lot of pages of goodness. So we're just waiting to place our order and uh, get this party started. Sit down and they ask if you want hot tea. So we got our hot tea and just enjoying the view. They have nice big windows here, view of the mountains. Not too busy right now because we came right when it opened, but it's a good space. Uh, I know they have, I think, extra rooms for big banquets. Yeah, it's, in fact, so, it's right behind you. Oh, is it behind yeah. me? And so, yeah, it's really nice. And this is a, this is a weekday morning and people are here enjoying their tea and dim sum. This is how to do it, have they? That's it. Alrighty, this is what we got. We got our jok or rice porridge. This is with a century old egg and pork. And they usually you have to order it separately, but this is the Chinese donut that you can dip into your jok. We, of course, I have to get my chicken feet. We got the spare ribs, the black bean spare ribs, which I always get. The fried dumpling, which I know the name, but I can't remember it right now. It's and like of a course, ground pork and mochi. Right? Mm -hmm. That's one of your favorites. Yeah. And then we got the custards. Yeah, this is the capper yeah. right here. So yeah, this yeah. Looks, oh, we have one more item coming, right? I think so. Yeah, one more item. This is really good. Here's the egg. There is a century old egg there. You can taste the ginger in here. Warm, soothing. Oh, pork. Pork is the meat in here. It's warm, it's soothing, good on a cold day or just any time. This is almost like if you're not feeling well, this is what you go to. This is the Chinese donut. Now, this is not sweet. It's fried and it's really crunchy. And normally, people either tear it apart and put it in their soup or dip it. I'm going to dip it. So it is crunchy. Mm -hmm. And what it does, it soaks up all of the flavor of the soup. So you're having a hot soup with a crunchy, they call it Chinese donut, a crunchy fry bread, maybe like a fry bread. Um, it just matches really well. Not everybody has the this uh, Chinese donut, but when you can get it, you have to have it. It has that really good crunchy factor to it. This is one of my favorites. It's that mochi with the ground pork inside of it. It's very light and crispy, very light fry on it. I usually put some soy sauce on it, but I'm going to give it a little bite. You can see a little bit of a ground meat inside. And that glisten on your lips, babe. Oh yeah, that's a dim sum glisten right there. There we go, right there. It has a nice seasoning in it. It is delicious. The mochi is a little bit on the stickier side, but it is very good. One of my favorites. Of course, you know I have to get the chicken feet anytime I come to dim sum. This looks really good. I don't really know, or I don't remember. We've been here a long time ago, and I don't remember the taste of this one. So yeah, it looks gnarly, but it's like delicious. If you like collagen and skin that you have to get the chicken feet it's done in spices 
The chicken feet has a really good flavor to it, not spicy at all, even though you see the jalapeno on top. It's really hot. It has a really good garlic flavor and like a five spice, like a, a salt, pepper, a little bit of garlic, a little bit of onion, and it comes in a juice, and you can see there's even mixed in with that black bean sauce too. I'm a fan of black bean sauce. So this is really good. They braise it and braise it until it is soft when you pick it up with your with your chopstick sometimes it even falls apart this is really good i know it may look a little weird but you gotta give it a try it's delicious if you like the collagen and skin on a chicken it's delicious we also ordered the crispy skin pork right here which is like a pork belly they give you some sauce with it what kind of sauce is this? Usually like an oyster sauce, oh, a little bit of the sauce on it. salty. Yeah, yeah. real, let's try it out. This outer skin on this is definitely crunchy, but it is a little bit on the dry side. I've had these roast porks where it's very moist inside with all the juices from it, and it's also crispy. So this is okay. Um, I wish it was a little bit more moist. But it does have a nice crunch factor, which I enjoy. Of course, this is my favorite. This is the black bean spare rib in here. You can see they pack it in and they steam it. So let me go ahead, get a piece here. I know this is gonna be hot. Very good, very tender. This spare rib, nice and meaty. I wish it was a little bit more on the black bean forward side. You can taste the black bean, but me, I really like that black bean. You can, nice and steamed. This is good though. This is my favorite part of any dim sum meal is the dessert, the egg tarts. By picking it up, it feels kind of flaky. So let's take a bite, see how it is. It's flaky, okay? It's flaky, all right? Because I'm a huge fan of these. These are these are good. Are they the best ones that I've ever had? No. If you kind of remember back in our recent visit to New York City, next to uh, Wafan, number one, that was probably one of the best ones that I've had. Mm -hmm. But these are these are okay. They kind of hit the spot. Hits your sweet spot, huh, babe? Mm hmm. Yeah, not too eggy, not too sweet. It's good. Pastry is a little thick. It is a good custard tart. I wish it had more filling in it though. The, the there's more pastry to custard, but they're good. Now, do say, babe, it hits the spot. Yeah, you're still dream dreaming about the New York ones, though. Mm hmm yeah. I am. That wraps up our last Chinese New Year meal. That was good. That yes. was a good meal. But that is one more place to go. Mm hmm we're going to go check out how the Aria celebrates Chinese New Year. As we're walking towards Aria, of course, you have to go through the crystal shops. And so look what we find here. This dragon is lit. It's lit. Usually, the Aria has a really cool New Year celebration, Lunar New Year celebration thing here, but because the Super Bowl is here in Vegas, it is football. Oh man. Well, for football fans, it does look pretty cool. It does. Yeah. No Chinese New Year celebration mm, here. No, not the Aria this year. Well, we wanted to end this Chinese New Year video with something spectacular from the Aria, mm -hmm. but nothing. No, so, because yeah. again, it was Super Bowl. It's uh, not Super Bowl weekend, but it's coming up. And so everybody's getting ready for it. We're hoping they do their amazing little Lunar New Year rendition they do there. Right. But nothing So big. instead, the other spectacular end we have is this dragon's yeah. end. Okay. Yes, that's it's because it's a, it's a you're the dragon in the end. That's right. In the beginning. Ha hashtag yeah. dragon butt. Mm -hmm. Anyway, thanks everybody for coming along on our Chinese New Year adventure. We had a couple great meals. We did. Did some sightseeing at the Bellagio. Yes. So it was a lot of fun here in yeah, Vegas. Yeah, it was. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I always love 
to having a Lunar New Year, Chinese New Year here because mm -hmm. it's just so, so, it feels so lucky. Yeah. So hopefully, Ve Vegas does it up. <laughs> yeah. Right? So hopefully you're feeling lucky when you come and check out these Chinese New Year stuff, huh, baby? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. You have any shout outs? I babe? do. I have one. I have Cliff and Kara. Thank you so much. Or I, we saw Cliff. Yes. We met Kara a couple months ago in the Bellagio. Right. Thank right. you so much, Cliff, for saying hi. Please send our hi and our hugs to Kara. Yes, yes, thanks for saying hi. Well, thanks again for everybody for watching and we'll catch you guys on the next one. Who's that?